Media Addicts, it's Alex. Welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a decluttering video. It's part two of my makeup collection declutter for my cruelty free transition. So as I announced in one of my previous videos, I am no longer going to be purchasing products from parent companies that test on animals or um, companies that are underneath parent companies that also have companies that are um, companies that test on animals. So for instance, this one com this one parent company owns Kat Von D, but they also own Sephora Makeup Forever. So I wanna get away from any association with animal testing, any money going towards companies for animal testing, even if it's not directly me paying, like I'm not directly buying L'Oreal products, but if I'm buying from Urban Decay, Urban Decay's money's gonna to go to L'Oreal, not money's gonna to go to testing. So I'd rather just focus on other brands. There's so many other brands out there. I don't need to be paying attention to these brands. So in this video, I'm going to declutter all of the products from those brands that I mentioned in that video. So I'm gonna get rid of Urban Decay, NYX, uh, Bare Minerals, which luckily I don't have too much of, um, and then just some other brands. I'm also gonna be showing you some products that are on Logical Harmony's pending list, and I'm gonna keep those aside. Those are gonna be things I'm going to sell, but I'm gonna sell the ones that are pending last. The ones I know for sure are um, companies that test on animals or, um, or under parent companies that test on animals, like I said, all that spiel. I will sell those first. So, you know, I'm also going to be trying to use up certain products that I know I can use up quickly. So face primer, brow pencil, I'll use those up because, you know, selling brow pencils is hard. It's like how much is actually left, you know, and this face primer, I'm almost done with it. Like it'll take me, I go through that like water. So stuff like that, I will keep and just use up right now as quickly as possible. So I can get it out of my life. Um, but stuff like blush or eyeshadow palettes, like that's just going to last me a lifetime. I'm just going to sell those. Now the video question of the video is if you can only have five products for the rest of your life, like types of products, what would they be? Mine would definitely be a brow pencil, mascara, eyeliner, a liquid lipstick, what fifth one? I'm between a crease color, oh no, concealer. I wanna do a crease color, but definitely concealer. So yeah, let me know what your five products are down below. Now, if you are new to my channel, welcome. My name is Alex, and I run this beauty channel, Beauty Attic Next Door. I also have a channel called Beauty Vlogger 101, which is an educational channel for vloggers and aspiring beauty vloggers. And then I have a third channel called The Beauty Attic Diaries, which is a lifestyle channel. So make sure to go check out those other channels and subscribe to this channel as well, so that way you will be notified of more of my videos. And I mean, as you can probably tell from this title, I am a cruel, I'm cruelty free. I am also on a lacto ovo vegetarian diet and I'll keep you guys posted on other stuff like fashion and you know, other stuff like that. So always check out my cruelty free playlist. I will have my cruelty free playlist linked down below just so that I can help you out. I'm walking you guys through my entire experiences, you know, decluttering videos, you know, um, letting you know. Um, decisions that I've made, things that have come up that would be helpful to you guys. And then of course I have other videos that go up that are about makeup tutorials and hauls and whatnot. Okay, so now that we got the introduction out of the way, let's go declutter all of my makeup. All right, so we're back here again, Beauty Addicts. I'm going to declutter my makeup collection just a bit more to exclude brands that have parent companies that test on animals or that have parent companies that also have companies that test on animals. So anything associated with testing on animals, I'm going to be decluttering, as well as some brands that are on Logical Harmony's pending or gray area list. Uh, some of those are still in my collection, but I just haven't moved them to a separate area. So I'm gonna move them to a separate area just so I don't like it confused and whatnot. So I'm gonna go over that with you guys. So we're first gonna start with the top of my vanity. Now, as you saw in my previous video, I have stuff hidden behind here. So back here, I have the Sonia Kashuk and e.l.f. brush cleansers, so I just throw them back here. And then on the other side, I have a Sephora collection one. I'm only using that one up. It's almost done, I'm not gonna sell that, so I'm just using that one up, so I just hide it behind there. Okay, so here's what's on top of my vanity. Now, this entire, whole, <laughs> this entire thing, this is all ColourPop Ultra Matte Liquid Lipsticks. So those are all cruelty free. You know, they're not under a parent company that tests, so we're good to go with ColourPop. Then over here, all of the ones in the front are ColourPop Ultra Satin Liquid Lipsticks. 
So we're good there because ColourPop's good. Anastasia Beverly Hills Liquid Lipsticks are right behind it. Those are good as well. And then just behind those are the Anastasia Lip Glosses. So Anastasia and ColourPop are good to go. So we are good there. These two things were easy. I didn't have to get rid of anything in these holders because ColourPop is taking over. And then I have Anastasia in there as well. Now for the brushes that I have right here, I don't have to get rid of any. I don't have some of the brushes because they need to be washed in another room, but there's only like two brushes that I have to get rid of and one is from Bare Minerals and one is from Tarte Cosmetics. That's the only two brushes I believe. That and whatever brush came with the Tarte Brow Mousse, which I'll show you guys soon. I have to get rid of that. So I think believe those are the only two brushes that I have to get rid of, but these are all good. These are the ones that are, um, uh, vegan, synthetic brushes, so we're good to go with the brushes. Now we're gonna go into this drawer, and this is the best drawer ever because you guys remember, this is the ColourPop drawer. Yes, I have a problem. I really only want just ColourPop in here, but I have some stuff hidden in the back. So obviously all of this ColourPop stuff, we're good to go. So back here, e.l.f. That's good, e.l.f. 100% cruelty free NARS. So NARS is a under a parent company. It's under Shiseido, I believe. If I'm wrong, I'll just put the right name here, but I'm pretty sure it's under Shiseido. Then we have another e.l.f. product that's good to keep. Then we have Hourglass, which is good. Okay, so I'm gonna put the e.l.f. products back. And then this Hourglass product back. I'm probably gonna move them elsewhere once I like get rid of some of this stuff. I can organize it better. So I think I'm just gonna have this completely color pop. No hidden gems in here, just color pop. Organize this a little bit more. Oh. Okay, so out of everything here, the only thing that we found in this section was this NARS. What is this? This is the a blush. So I'm gonna get rid of this NARS blush. Or I'm going to sell it, guys. When I say get rid of, I'm not just throwing it away. I'm going to sell it, and 100% of the proceeds will be going to the Animal Rescue League. That way, this product can get used up, not wasted, and also money can go towards the Animal Rescue League and, you know, innocent animals. All right, so now we're going to jump into this closet right here, just to see, so I can show you guys the nail polish that I have. So right here, we have Isla Cosmetics nail polishes. Those are 100% vegan. Then we have some drugstore nail polishes over here. The three on the left are Milani, and then the three on the right are Wet n Wild, so we're good to go there. Now the ones down here are from Formula X. Now in my first decluttering video, I said that these are cruelty free, and that is based off of PETA's website. However, I heard PETA's website is not the most trust trust trustworthy website, and Formula X isn't listed anywhere on Logical Harmony's um, website. They don't mention it under, you know, cruelty free list, avoid list, pending list, gray area list. It's listed nowhere. So I'm going to have to look more into that. So in the meantime, they're just going to sit here, but I haven't used them. All right. So there was nothing in this closet that I was like, definitely have to get rid of. So this has been easy so far, guys. But now we're going to get into the more typical areas, which is this lingerie chest from Pier 1. Um, it's part of the Hayworth collection. I will link that down below for you guys. So that little house right there is from a Too Faced holiday set. Um that I got and I just thought it'd be a cute thing to keep in the background. So let's go into this lipstick holder. So I got rid of a lot of lipsticks whenever I went cruelty free. I had a lot of MAC lipsticks and some other lipsticks. So there's nothing in here other than the ones right here. All right, so these two right here are wet and wild, so we're good to go. These are City Color Cosmetics. Now, these are on Logical Harmony's pending list. So these I'm gonna put on the side and uh, they're gonna be ones that I sell last. If they end up moving onto the buy list, then great. If not, then I'm gonna sell them. Then right here, we have this topless lipstick from Too Faced. I got this um, from a family member, so thanks, girl. Um, but yeah, so it's from Too Faced, so we're good to go there. Then right here, we have three NARS Audacious lipsticks. As I said before, NARS is under a parent company that tests on animals, so I will be um, selling these. Then right here we have four Milani lipsticks and Milani is good. They don't have a parent company that tests on animals. Uh, so we're good, we're gonna keep those. So the only ones I have to get rid of are, well actually I'm gonna get rid of like half of them. So they were, um, I'm gonna sell these two from City Color Cosmetics and then these three from NARS. All right, and this is what we're left with. So I have nothing in the bottom here. This is what I have. So if you guys have any lipstick suggestions for 
cruelty-free brands that don't have parent companies that test on animals, then let me know. All right, so now we're going to go into the drawers. So I have every naked palette from Urban Decay. So I'm going to be selling all four of those. So 100% of the proceeds from what I sell will go to the Animal Rescue League. So yeah, I have all four. So naked one, naked two, naked three, and the naked smoky. All right, so this is from Elf, so we're good. This is from BH Cosmetics. This is on the pending list, Logical Harmony. So I'm going to put this on the side. It'll be one of the last things that I sell. If I sell it, hopefully it moves on to the buy list, but oh well. Here's another Urban Decay palette. So I'll be selling this Urban Decay Vice 2 palette. Now, Morphe, I'm like 99% sure, is cruelty-free. So many people have said that they are. They just have some brushes that are made out of animal hair and some that aren't. So I'm pretty sure on this. I just have to do a couple. I just have to check a little bit. I know I've been saying that forever, but it hasn't been on my, my top priority to check that. But I will <laughs> I'll confirm for you guys in the upcoming video. I just don't feel 100% comfortable with it because Morphe is one that's not mentioned on Logical Harmony's website. So I Logical Harmony makes me feel comfortable. <laughs> Um, so yeah, I just have to look into that. Then we have this Too Faced palette, which obviously Too Faced is good. Um, then right here we have the Too Faced chocolate bar palette. That's good. The semi-sweet chocolate bar palette. Buxom is, I believe, also under Shiseido's, um, company. They have a parent company that tests on animals. So, and this is a customized palette that I created. So I'm going to have to sell that on... Poshmark and I will link down below my Poshmark username is just beauty addict next without the T Then we have this urban decay electric palette All right, so that's what this store looks like once it has been cleaned out So I got rid I'm gonna be selling a lot of palettes right on to the next drawer All right, so these are lashes from SL Miss Glam. They were sent to me um, But they're mink lashes and I'm not gonna support mink lashes. I decided um and these were free. I didn't buy them. They just came. So I tried them on once, but then I realized that they're mink. So, um, yeah, I like the brushes. I just don't feel comfortable with that. So, um, I'm just gonna get rid of them because I used them once. So that's kind of gross. Then right here we have the Urban Decay Gwen Stefani palette. I will be selling that. Then here we have my custom Anastasia single eyeshadow palette. So that is good. Let's open up so you guys can see. Woo! Love these shades. Then right here we have the Tartlet palette. Tarte is owned by a parent company that tests on animals, so I will be selling my Tartlet palette. These palettes right here, these are all limited edition Anastasia Beverly Hills palettes, so I will be keeping those. Then this is a Too Faced Peanut Butter Jelly palette. That's good. Then in here I have a bunch of single eyeshadows, so these ones are all Anastasia, so those are good. These ones right here are Makeup Geek, and then these are Morphe, so I'll hold on to the Morphe because I'm pretty sure that they're cruelty free. And if they find out they're not, then I'll sell them. And then we have the Too Faced Stardust palette. So we're good there with Too Faced. Then right here, we just have this single eyeshadow case from Anastasia. This is what I'm going to be use when I, using when I travel. This is the Naked Urban Decay Basics palette. So I'm going to be selling this. It's a little gross. So some, um, a friend of mine gave it to me, and I've been using it. So it's a little messy. Um, but I'm going to sell it probably for cheap since it's a little messy. But eh, whatever. And the last things in here are these Wet n Wild eyeshadow palettes so those are here to stay so this is what is left in this drawer so this drawer I mean I got rid of some stuff but I still kept a good amount of stuff too all right on to the next one oh so this drawer is a little bit messy so I'm going to go through here and sort this out first and then we'll get into that but we can start on this side so right here we have this tart brown mousse gotta sell that Milani's good elf's good elf's good NYX is not and then I also have another one which I don't know where it is but I'll find it and that one has to go too then back here we have Anastasia gel liners, so gel liner, so keep those. We have this Pixie, this is the Brightening Peach Corrector, this is awesome. And we're going to keep that. And then the last thing right here, this is from City Color Cosmetics, um, so they're on the, the pending list, so I'm just going to put this off to the side with the other City Col Color Cosmetics stuff. Okay, so then we have this ColourPop Brow Pencil, this is good, this is Dope Taupe. We have this NYX Brow Pencil. Now I'm just going to use this up because it's going to be something I can quickly use up and also to sell it would be really difficult because I'm like, I don't know how, I don't know. I just, I want to try to use up what I can, that I can use up quickly. Um, so I'm just going to do that. Then we have the Anastasia Brow Definer that we can keep. 
Then we have two Anastasia Brow Wizzes. Keep those. And then a NYX Micro Brow. Now this one's too light and I used it once, so I'm going to sell that one. Yeah, so these are ones I'm keeping. All of them, for the most part, are good. NYX is not, but I can quickly get use that up. Then we have some products back here. These are the clear brow gels. So we have e.l.f. That's good. Anastasia is good. Great brow gel. Both of these are great in their own ways. Um, then right here we have this NYX Control Freak brow gel. This one I can use up quickly, so um, I will be using that one up. Plus it's cracked. Like... I'll just use it up. And then this is this Milani thing that I've never used. And I was like, oh, I'm so going to use this to highlight my brows and eyes and whatever. But I never use it. I need to try that. It's going to be really good on the inner corner of my eye. What have I been doing? Ugh, I'll work on that. All right, so out of this section, there's only a couple of items that I need to sell. Some of them are sample size, though, so I probably will just give them to a friend that's not cruelty-free, I guess. Um... So this one right here, this is from City Color Cosmetics. Like I said before, they're, pen they're a pending brand, so I'm just going to put those to the side. Probably sell it. Then right here, all three of these products, or actually no, these two products are from Tarte. So those I'm going to give to a friend just because they're sample sizes. Then this is from Bare Minerals. So yeah, I'll probably just give it to a friend or something. I don't know. I'll try to figure out what I'm going to do with it. Then everything else in here is good because it's just Too Faced. Right here, Too Faced, Wet n Wild, Too Faced, Phil Pelosi, um, Elf, and then Wet n Wild. All right, so all the ones in here are the ones that I have to sell. So we have two NARS eyeliners, um, these two NYX products, Tarte, and the rest of these are Urban Decay. Okay, right, and the only products in here that I'm keeping is this Ardell Lash Glue, Wet n Wild eyeliner, Physician's Formula liner, another Wet n Wild eyeliner, and then this Anastasia liner. All right, now we're going to get into this drawer. Oh, which is a little bit of a mess. <sighs> Whatever. All oh, right, why is this still in here? This is Smashbox, so I guess I just didn't move it out. So that is from a brand that does test on animals. Do not use that. I promise you I haven't been using it. I just guess I didn't move it. I don't know why. Oh, yeah, at one point I thought Smashbox was cruelty-free because PETA said it was, and then I found out later that it wasn't. So I found that out after my declutter video, so i got to move that. That one's being sold. And right here we have Wet n Wild, Wet n Wild, Wet n Wild Milani. So those are good. These two are NARS, so i got to sell those. Then this is Urban Decay, so i got to sell that. So this is Lorac. This is on Logical Harmony's pending list, so I'm going to keep that up to the side. I'm probably going to sell that, but i got to sell all the other stuff first. This is from Wet n Wild. This is from Too Faced. And then this is from Too Faced. So these three are good. And then I have this little mini Urban Decay Primer Potion, and I'll just sell that along with the other one. All right here we have some Ardella Glamour Lashes. Those are good. Then I have this Too Faced Blush. That's good. Physician's Formula Powder. Good. Milani. Good. And now this is from Tarte, so I will be selling that. Then these three are from Milani, so those are good. These two blushes are from City Color Cosmetics, so they're on the pending list, so I'm going to put these off to the side. These will be the last things that I sell, but if they don't move to the correct list, you know, by that time, then I'm definitely going to sell them. Then right here to the side, I have a Wet n Wild blush. Put this Too Faced one in the front. All right, then I have these two NYX Ombre blushes. One I, like, literally just swatched from. I didn't even use it. I only used the other one a couple of times. So I'm going to be selling that on Poshmark, both of these. Then in the front right here, we have Becca Cosmetics. So those are good to go. And we have Anastasia, that one's good, and Too Faced is good. Then we have this NARS one. This is messy. What's inside I can still use? Um, here, I'll show you. Oh, who cares? Um, so I'm probably going to give that to a friend and just be like, sorry. I, f I don't want to sell that. I mean, who would want to buy that? Then we have this from Bare Minerals, so I'll be selling that. Then we have two more products from NARS that I'm going to sell. All right, so that's what's left in this drawer. I have a really cleaned house over these past two couple of videos, even though I've still bought some stuff. Part of the problem is I bought some stuff from the brands that were cruelty-free, but they have a parent company that isn't. So that's kind of annoying, but, you know, I'm not going to keep using it and go against what I believe in, so I will be selling those. Okay, on to the next drawer, which is always hard to open, so that's fun. Okay, so the Too Faced Little Black Book of Bronzers is okay. We have two sets of lashes from BH Cosmetics, which I used. Those, see these, I, I'll probably use these. This one I even, 
actually, you know what? This one I didn't wear, so I can sell these. So I'll put flirt on the side. But this pair I did wear. So I'll probably wear it, wear it a couple more times um, just because I already used it. And it's not like it's made out of mink or anything. So, or I don't know. I don't want to waste it and just throw it. I don't, I don't know, but I'm putting it off to the side. Then back here we have the Anastasia Contour Kit. And then this Cover FX Contour Kit, which is a year old now. <laughs> I haven't used it. It is so bad. I just don't feel like cream contouring. Why did I buy this product? Then over here we have a Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette. Uh, so... Yeah, it's from Kat Von D, so I have to sell this. And I didn't really use that much of it, so. Then we have this Tarte Blush Palette. So this is limited edition, so I'll be selling that. This NARS um, Guy Bordon Blush Palette. I'm going to sell that. Then I have these two e.l.f. Eyes eyelashes, which I didn't really remember liking, but I guess I'll try to use it up. Then here we have this NYX Mineral Setting. Don't fret it. Uh, I'm going to sell this. There's just so much left. I'm not going to use it that quickly, so I'll sell that. I'm going to keep that. It's from Wet Wild. It's from Philip Lucy. This is from Elf, so that's good. This is from Wet Wild, so that's good. Now, this is from City Color Cosmetics. So, they're on the pending list. Like I said, I'm going to put that off to the side. It'll be one of the last things that I sell unless they, you know, switch to hopefully being considered cruelty free. Now, I'm actually going to put Philip Lucy on the side because I know that their hair products are... Not tested on animals, but I'm not sure about their makeup, so I'm going to put that off to the side, too. Only two more drawers to go. Okay. So I have quite a bit to get rid of in here. So for one this way, foundation's good. Physician formulas, foundation's good, but I'm a little annoyed that I think the brush that came with it is made out of go hair. I'm still looking into that. That's really annoying. So don't know how I feel about that just yet. I definitely, if, if I don't like feel good about it, which I probably don't, um, I'll just use up this foundation and just not buy it again because I don't want to buy go hair brushes. I just, you know, it was sent to me, so. Um, and then this is the Milani foundation, so that's good. NARS is not, so I'm going to sell that. Then the Anastasia Glow Kits are back here. Those are good. Then I have the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Palette. That's good. This NARS Stephen Klein Cheek Palette is not, so I'm going to have to give that one away or sell it. Okay, here the NYX. This is NYX, so I'm gonna have to sell this. Actually, you know what? This this I'm almost out of, so there's no point in selling it. I'm just gonna use it up. It's gonna I'm like was about to repurchase another one, and then I'm like, no, I don't want to support NYX. So yeah, I'll just use that up though. Wet and Wild's good. Wet and Wild's good. Milani's good. This NYX is not, but this one I can also use up, so I'm gonna be using that up. Elf is good. And this is NAR, so I'm gonna sell this. I have plenty left of it, and it's like the wrong color for me. All right, so this is what my drawer looks like after emptying it. So not as full, and this one's kind of hiding in the back, but yeah. Last drawer. Now this one's kind of insane because there's a bunch of samples in here, but I'm not going to bore you guys. So I'll get rid of any samples that are from like Kat Von D or something like that. Um, the Speed Blender Salad's good. Wet n Wild's good. P Pixie's good. Urban Decay, All Nighter Setting Spray is not. I have a good amount in here, so I'll sell this. Then we have a bunch of lipsticks in here, so I'm going to sort through this real quick. All right, so these products right here, these are all pending products. So we have an Essence Lip Liner, a Bite Beauty Lipstick, and then a City Color Lip Liner. So these are all pending, so I'm going to put those off to the side to sell last. Okay, and then here are the other ones that, and here are other ones I'm going to sell. You know, Kat Von D, NYX, Buxom, Tarte Bare Minerals, and two NARS lipsticks. So all of those have either parent companies that test on animals or have, um, parent company that's another company that they are associated with that does on animals so yeah I'm going to be selling these all right and here are the products that I'm keeping so we have two Too Faced products OCC Anastasia Wet n Wild Ofra uh, bon the Bomb and then Elf and that is what's left in this store so this pile is all stuff from brands that are cruelty free but have parent companies that test on animals or have some sort of association with a company that tests on animals. So I'm going to be quite honest with you guys. I did not expect that amount to be this large. Like especially I have a lot of Urban Decay, a lot of NARS, and just some random assortment of NYX. Like this is a lot of stuff. So I'm going to be selling as much as I can 
And anything that's like a little sample size like this, maybe I'll throw in with something for someone or I'll give it to friends. Like, I don't know. Like, I just want it to be used up but not by me. And like I said, 100% of the proceeds will be going to the Animal Rescue League. So that way, at least some animals can have shelter and be saved and taken care of. At least there's something good that can come out of this decluttering other than, you know, me making... You know, me trying to do my best and be cruelty free, which is a good thing on its own. But yeah, this is just so much and this is terrible. <laughs> and then, oh, yeah, see, like that's the end of it. It goes from there to there. Like, oh my gosh. All right, so over here we have uh, products that are on the pending list or gray area list on Logical Harmony's website. So we have BH Cosmetics, White Beauty, City Color Cosmetics, Essence, and I think that's it. So yeah, here is everything that I decluttered. That's it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please let me know down in the comments if you have any questions at all. Let me know if you found this video helpful. You know, I'm happy to help you guys out. I would love to hear your thoughts on this. Um, and I hope you enjoyed this video. I know declutter videos are pretty popular these days. Um, and then if you haven't subscribed to my channel already, please make sure you hit the subscribe button below. Like this video if you've liked it. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye.